A well-known Jesuit priest close to the Holy Father has had his ministry restricted following an investigation. Officials from the Jesuit order said in a statement they have barred Father Marco Ivan Rupnik from hearing confessions or conducting spiritual direction. The news comes after an investigation into the 68-year-old. Father Rupnik was the creator of the official image of the 2022 World Meeting of Families. He has also designed artwork for churches around the world. Joining us now from Rome is Andreas Tonhauser, EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief. Andreas, great to see you as always. Uh, can you tell us more about this investigation and what we know about Father Rupnik? Sure, Tracy. So over the weekend, rumors surfaced here in Rome that Jesuit artist Father Marco Ivan Rupnik has been investigated by the Dicastery for the Doctrine of Faith. He's been accused of abusing at least one religious sister more than 30 years ago. Allegedly, this abuse happened in Slovenia, where Rubnik is from, and where he had founded the community Loyola. Father Rubnik is a priest and member of the Society of Jesus, and of course, he's a world-famous artist whose religious mosaics decorate prestigious places such as the Redemptoris Mater Chapel in the Vatican, the Basilica in Fatima, and many other well-known churches around the globe. At first, this was only a rumor, as I said, but earlier today, the Dicastery for the Doctrine of Faith published a statement confirming the investigation. And the Dicastery found that the facts in question were to be considered prescribed and thus had closed the case already two months ago. And the statement that Dicastery said that, and I quote, various precautionary measures were taken against Father Rupnik. He has been barred from exercising the sacrament of confession, spiritual direction, and accompanying spiritual exercises. During the investigation, Father Rupnik was also forbidden to engage in public activities without the permission of his local superior. These message, measures will remain in effect. And we know that uh, Father Rupnik is a friend of Pope Francis. Um, what has been the reaction uh, from the Vatican to the story? So Father Rubnik is a very prominent figure here in the Vatican and also on a global level. He has been close to Pope John Paul II and is now close to Pope Francis as well. He's seen as a brilliant artist and a thinker and was always a sought-after speaker. The allegations brought forth against him are grave in nature. By not carrying out a full investigation at a castery, there's neither sentence nor clear Father Rubnik. Some journals in Italy are already asking how much Pope Francis knew about this case and if he intervened in some form. However, at this point, it seems that the allegations have been taken very seriously and that they were investigated by the appropriate authorities. Um, on a different note, uh, we know the Vatican is organizing an initiative to help Ukrainian people for Christmas. What can you tell us about this, Andreas? Sure, Tracy. So today, the Dicastery for the Service of Charity launched an initiative to help people in Ukraine. Our own Vatican reporter, Colm Flynn, by the way, is traveling there right now and has already in the past reported about their suffering from the atrocities of war and now the bitter cold of winter. Cardinal Konrad Krajewski, who is the papal almoner and the head of the Dicastery, and Pope Francis is really trusted person when it comes to charitable work, introduces this introduced today this new initiative. He had traveled to Ukraine on behalf of the Holy Father several times. And he reminded us that people in Ukraine are experiencing right now an emergency. Therefore, in the run-up to Christmas, a collection of thermal shirts, such as those usually used for skiing and are suitable for maintaining body temperature, right now this collection is being organized. And as soon as possible, these clothes will be sent to those in need. Uh -uh. Tracy. Andreas, thank you so much for that report. As always, Andreas Tonhauser, EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief. Thank you again.